Hi friends, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel Technical Talks with Naresh. Today I am going to prepare a video on securing an ESS job in Oracle Fusion. So what is securing an ESS job? So if you had created one ESS job using your user and you have to give the access to some particular users only. So that is nothing but the securing the ESS job. So we will see practically how to do that. Okay. Before starting, I just want to say that if you are new on my channel, please subscribe my channel to get an latest update. So I am going back to my Oracle Fusion instance. So I had logged in to the user that is an Fin IMPL. You can see it over here and I am on the catalog page of my Oracle Fusion instance. Okay. So what we will do, we will create the data model then we will create the ESS job for that report and then we will give the access to some other user for that ESS job. Okay. So first of all, I will write all the steps which is required to do in this video on one notepad. So our aim is securing the ESS job. So the step one is create the data model. Then step two is create a report. So if you are aware of the Oracle Fusion, it is really easy to prepare a report. So I am just telling rapidly to you how to create the data model and how to create the report. So here is a new icon. Just click on this new. Then after here is a data model. So just click on the data model. It will redirect you on the data model page. So for creating the data model, we have to click on this plus icon. Then here is an SQL query. Then here you have to give the name to this data model. So I will give the name as secure underscore dm dm is nothing but the data model and here i am selecting the data source as the fusion db i will write one query for this data model that is select po underscore header underscore id comma segment one comma terms underscore id from table name is po underscore headers underscore all okay so what we are doing we are fetching three columns that is po header id segment one and terms id from this table po header all and here i am also giving one where condition that is where row num which is less than 20 means we want to fetch the limited amount of data that's why i am giving this just click on this ok button so our data model is created i am just saving this data model so I am saving this data model at the location that is in a shared folder then customs and here is the folder testing. So I am giving the name as secure underscore dm. I am copying the same name into the description section and I will just click on the ok button. So you can see over here it is saved. Now I am clicking on this data then here is a view. Then I will click on save as sample data. So it will save the sample data. Now I want to create the reports. For that I just click on create report button. So it will redirect me on to the report creation wizard. So I don't want to create using this wizard. So I am just cancelling this. Then here is an option to upload the data model. So I am just uploading my data model that is secure DM. By using this technique generate rtf layout based on the selected data model i will generate my rtf so i just click on this i am giving the name to the template that is secure underscore template and i will click on the generate button so you can see that the template is generated for us now what we will do we will save this particular report so I am saving at the same location where I had saved the data model and I am giving the name as secure report. I am copying the same name into the description section also and I will just click on OK. And here is the view report button. I will click on this view report. So as soon as I clicked on the view report, it will load the data in front of us. So it is showing some limited amount of data because we had given the row num which is less than 20. Okay, so our report is generated. Now what we have to do, we have to create an ESS job. For that, what we have to do, we have to go to the home page. 
then here fin IMPL is written and there is an one arrow so click on this arrow then here is the option that is setup and maintenance just click on this setup and maintenance then here one book icon will appear in front of you just click on book icon that is nothing but the task then here is the search option click on this search so this page will open in front of you here you have to search that is manage enterprise job i'm just writing in short and i will just click on this search button so as soon as i clicked on search button these three options will come in front of me so we have to select this manage enterprise schedule jobs so i will do one thing i'm just copying this and i will write this on the notepad also so the third step is create the ess job so what we have to search it over here this job name first we have to search over there then what we have to do we have to add one new job then i am just clicking on this plus icon so here you have to give the display name i am giving the display name as secure underscore ess underscore job i am just copying the same name and giving it into the name section also okay these two things are done i am just writing that name onto the notepad also that is job name and i am just pasting it so what is this path so this is nothing but the path of our report so i am going back on my catalog page so this is my report and i am clicking on this catalog it will redirect me to the catalog so what is our path that is in a shared folder then custom then testing so here i am on the job creation window so what is this path oracle apps ess and custom this till this the path is already over there now just we have to give that is testing and then the slash okay then the application we have to choose which application we can choose we had written the query related to purchasing so i am selecting the purchasing then here is the job application name so job application name so it is for regarding purchasing so i am selecting the fscm ess then job type so which job type is this it is a bip job so i am selecting bip job type then which output format you need so i am selecting the pdf then what is this report id so i am again going back to the catalog page so here is my report so click on this more and click on this history as soon as you clicked on this history it will open the history page it is not loading properly still there is an one path so we need only this path only so i am just copying this path and i will go on the notepad and here i will write the id and i am just pasting so what is this path it is nothing but the same that is an custom then testing and this is my report name dot xdo so we have to copy the same and i am going back to the job creation page and i will paste it over here that is report id so i am just click on this save and close if you want to add any parameter you can add through this parameter window and click on this done button so we are back on this window now what we have to do we have to schedule that particular job for that we have to go to tools then after here is the schedule processes just click on this schedule processes then we want to schedule new process so click on this schedule new process so what is our job name so here is my job name i am just copying the same and i will paste it over here so here ok button is disable i am just tabbing out if the job is present over there this button will get enabled automatically i will just click on ok so it will prompt me to the parameter window but we don't have specified any parameters so we need not to do anything just click on the submit button so it will submit the program click on ok and click on refresh so you can see that the secure ess job our job is in the running state again click on refresh so it is succeeded so you can check the output so just click on the job then go down 
and here is the job name that is securious job then here is the output okay the output is in html and because we had not specified any format while submitting it okay so i'm just downloading this output so you can see one zip file is downloaded so i will just open this file and here is the report in the html format i am opening it so here is our report okay so this is our report so by this particular user i was able to run this report but i have to check that i am able to run this same report using the other user or not so in another browser i had logged in with some other user that is an guine montros by this user we will try to submit that same ess job so what i will do i will go to tools and then here is an schedule processes so now click on the schedule new process and here i am just giving the job name and i will just tab out so one another window will open and it will show that no rows to display i'm just again clicking on the search button so again it is showing no rows to display means the privileges are not given to this particular user okay now i am going back to the same user that is fina mpl and here i will give the privileges to that particular user for that what we have to do i will write on one notepad so now the step 4 is give the privileges give the privileges so for that we need to do some step that is in a first step i will write as an a submit ess job the job name is import user and role application security data this job we have to submit i am just copying it as it is and i will go on the schedule process page here is an schedule new process and i will just give the name and i will just tab out so you can see that this job is for the ldap changes so i am just clicking on the okay button it will prompt the parameter window here also there is no parameter so just click on the submit button and then click on the okay button then here is an refresh just refresh it once so you can see that import user and role application security data this is in the running state so i am refreshing it again sometime this job will take more time to execute so we will refresh again so our job is this that is import user and role application security data that is succeeded and which is submitted by the fina mpl means same job we are checking now what we have to do just i have to go to again tools so here is an tools and here we have to go to security console then here is an option create role just click on this create role then here you can give the role name so i am giving the role name as secure underscore role underscore ess okay so i am just copying the same into the role code and i will just give the category as common job role and i will click on next so what we have to do here so here is an add function security policy so i am just clicking on this add function security policies and here we have to give the job name so what is our job name so this is my job name so before that i will write down our role name also role name so this is my role name and i am just copying the job name and here i will paste that and i am selecting it and i will click on add privileges to role close this dialog box and you can see that privileges are added then click on next then again click on next then again click on next users so here we have to add the user for which we have to give the access so here is the add user and here we have to give the username so i am just going back to my another browser and here is the username i am copying the same username and i will just paste it over here and i will click on search so this is my user 
so i just selected and i will click on this add user to role then close this window also you can see that the user is added then click on next again then click on save and close so here you will get the message the role changes were saved click on ok button now to implement these changes we have to submit one job so i am going back to the schedule process page so here we have to schedule one job that is retrieve latest ldap changes and i will just tab out and i will click on ok button then this parameter prompt will appear in front of me but we don't want to give any parameter so i am just clicking on this submit button then click on ok then refresh the list so you can see that the retrieve latest ldap changes program is in the wait state again i am refreshing it now it is in the ready state again refresh now it is in the running state wait till it gets succeeded the ldap changes job is completed successfully okay now i am going to other browser where i log in with this user now i am going to the tools and here is an a schedule processes so i will just click on this schedule processes and here i will schedule the job so last time when we try to schedule it is not able to find that particular job now i am just going to notepad and copying the job name i will paste it here this ok button is not enabled i am just tabbing out and it gets enabled so i will click on ok so it will prompt the parameter window we don't have parameters so i just clicked on submit button and clicked on ok so i am just refreshing it so you can see that this job is scheduled okay and it is also completed okay so i am just clicking on this job and it is loading the output and i will again click on this default document so it will download the output for us so i'm just clicking on ok so it had downloaded the output i'm just opening this output it is in the html format so i'm opening this so you can see that the output is also in the proper format so by this way we can give the access of the ess job to the other user if you have any doubts you can comment into the comment section please like share subscribe my channel thank you for watching